I'm Lauren with Pack Hacker, and today we're going to be taking a detailed look at the Air Travel Pack 3 Small, which I've been testing for the last two weeks. Plus, we'll be taking a look at how it compares to the Air Travel Pack 2 Small, so let's get into it. So to start off with the Air Travel Pack 3 small, this is this one on my right here, and then this is the Air Travel Pack 2 small. So just kind of initial thoughts on these. You can just see that they do have a very, um, a very similar design form. So that's something that is, is very, uh, very much so an air thing, right? Is that their packs look very similar. They all um, kind of have that same design function and you can really quickly identify if a bag is from air. So you can see that between these two, they do look very similar, but there are a few key upgrades uh, between the two of them that do just make a little bit more um, quality of life updates, I guess, I guess you could say. So I'm gonna kind of run through the exterior first here and just kind of point through the differences. So right off the bat on the, on the front here, we have the same front zipper that kind of goes halfway through. The small updates are on the, you know, um, the, the like actual, actual zippers here. So you can kind of see that they have like a, they have a very similar feel to them. The one on the uh, small two or the travel pack too small is a little bit larger than the one on the three. So it is a little bit less bulky kind of overall, but that's, you know, just a very, very small update there. In terms of actual function, they both have, you know, these pull tabs on the side to make the opening a little bit easier. So on the sides, just looking at these initially, you can see that one of the main things missing here is, here, actually, let me, do it this way. You can see one of the main things missing here are these uh, compression straps. So the Air Travel Pack 3 is, um, I would say more accurately, a smaller version of the Air Travel Pack 3 versus the Air Travel Pack 2, which is designed to be the smaller version of the Air Travel Pack 2. So the, the smaller version of this one here does have a lot of those same features as the larger version. These are both 28 liters, whereas the counterparts are, um, you know, more like 35. I believe the other, the Travel Pack 2 is like 32. So you do have a little bit more space, but these ones here are similar sizes, just different features. So you have these compression straps on the side, and then, you know, this side pocket is here versus on the Travel Pack 2 small, which has the water bottle pocket. So there's like a little, little small differences between the two of them. Still have this nice soft carry handle. I will say that on the uh, Travel Pack 3 here, I did find that um, this one would, like I, this caught on a door handle one time when I was leaving my house. So um, it sticks out a little bit further from the bag comparatively you can see like just from this top down you can see that it comes out a little bit further on the side which compared to it's kind of hard to see without covering it it's like a little bit less of a loop very i would say in the scheme of things very small potatoes but um, something that i did notice and then on the travel pack three small there are carry handles on all of the sides so this is more of just like a thin grab handle but then there's one on the top as well. And then compared to uh, one of the qualms that we had with the travel pack uh, too small was that this grab handle was really, really big and really hefty. Whereas on the travel pack three small, they have scaled it down a little bit. It's a little bit softer, a little bit thinner, a little bit more comfortable to grab. So, um, so that's something that was a nice little upgrade as well. And then, on the bottom, the difference, main difference here is that they did get rid of the shoe compartment. So we had a little bit of a qualm with the shoe compartment in the Travel Pack 2 Small anyway. Um, 
it's a nice feature to have if you like shoe compartments, but this in the travel pack too small, it took up a lot of space. It was stowable, but when it was out, you know, it was really large into the bag. Um, we personally don't really need them all the time, prefer to use a shoe pouch and have that option. Um, so, you know, not really a feature we're super missing, but if that's something that you're really into, that's something worth noting is that it is not on the newest iteration of this pack. So I'm gonna kind of set this to the side here so I can flip this over. Another thing we're gonna look at is the harness system. So they look very similar as, as per expected, but the uh, newest iteration, the Travel Pack 3 Small, is a little bit beefier. So there's a little bit, um, there's a few more features on this. We have Duraflex hardware um, in addition to YKK zippers all around. And the one of the biggest I would say switches here is the addition of the load lifters. So this here will just bring the pack a little bit closer to your body. It is a huge help, I would say. So this Travel Pack 3 Small is designed um, for people who either just want a smaller pack or who have smaller frames. So um, the larger size is still comfortable on a smaller frame, but this is definitely less bulky and it looks a little bit more at home. So I can actually just put this on for you to kind of give you an idea of what it looks like on. So, you know, without these load lifters engaged, you know, I have this on just like normal, and then I can kind of tighten it how I want to. And then you can see it falls back a little bit. And then when I tighten these load lifters, it really just brings the pack closer to my body and it it really centers that weight as well i feel it more towards you know my back versus pulling me backwards and then if you want as well there's attachment points to add a hip belt so you can really like lift that weight as well um, the more you add the obviously the more weight that you're going to feel and it could be a little bit less comfortable um, but in general, I found that on my smaller frame, even when this was loaded out to, you know, 10 kilograms or more, uh, it was still really comfortable on. The shoulder straps are a little bit wider than the previous version, but they're still well padded. Um, and then in addition, the back panel, I would say, is like a little bit more padded. It might just not, you know, it might need to break in a little bit, but in general, you know, you kind of have that same comfortability um, as the, the previous iteration. Same thing with the luggage pass through, just kind of a nice little carry handle, very simple, stays out of the way. And then the sternum straps as well. Uh, the newest version here has mainly fidlock buckles. So this is going to be just a quick little fidlock versus a standard buckle. Fidlocks are nice because they look really sleek. Uh, they do kind of add a bit of like a professional feel, but buckles in general tend to be the more secure option. So especially when you're looking at the side compression straps, I found that um, this one in particular underneath the water bottle pocket for me. So this is that water bottle pocket that you see on the Travel Pack 2 Small. This water bottle pocket for me, uh, or the rather the compression strap that's underneath, came open a couple of different times. And to be quite honest, I didn't really find a super like aggressive need for the um, compression straps here. I just, I don't feel like they, they added a little bit of, you know, tightening the feel, but not so much that I felt it really impacted it. I think at 28 liters, you, you know, the load lifters do a lot of that work to kind of tighten things down. The larger you go up, the more it's gonna be beneficial to like really lock things in. Uh, but for me, they just kind of hung out. I mean, it's nice to have the option, but definitely something uh, to keep in mind. And then with this water bottle pocket here, this opens up, zippers out of the way when you don't need it, stays low profile to the bag. But I have an 18 ounce Yeti here to kind of give you an idea of how it fits. And that's, you know, pretty much it's comfortable size here is like an 18 ounce bottle. And even this size here, like when I, I can shake it around like this, it doesn't, it slips out like a little bit, but I'm also shaking it out like at that angle, right? So like if you're in transit, chances are it's gonna be sitting up like this. And if it's not sitting up that way, then, you know, if I were on a plane, this would be with me anyway. So it's not like I'm gonna stow this in the overhead bin with it. But if you do, something to keep in mind because there is nothing to really secure it. When it's in here, I guess I can show you, but it, when it's in here, you can't like zip over it. 
So you could secure these compression straps around it if you want to. Um, I, with that same kind of fidlock thing, I mean, this one here doesn't really even fit. If you wanted to stick it through the, the handle, you could, or depending on what water bottle you have, really. But um, it was that same thing where I just sort of didn't really use the, the fidlocks for, for much of anything. Um, if you have a water bottle in here, it does start to block this one up here. And then in addition to that, with this D-ring, if you have anything hanging off of here, it can interact with what is on your, um, or like what's in the water bottle pocket. So this is actually, you know, the water bottle pocket or the D-ring rather, like if it was over here, you know, it'd just kind of be dangling. It might interact with this pocket here, but for the most part, you'd have a pretty, you know, solid, solid free space to dangle something. So um, if, you know, water bottle pockets are huge for you, that's great because then it's an option, but if not, it stays really low, uh, low profile and out of the way. So then in terms of, you know, just sort of other aesthetic things, the, the sort of Hypalon, very familiar air branding is around the outside of this here on the, the um, sternum straps as well. Sternum straps are on a sliding rail and have the D-ring here and then strap keepers. The strap keepers just kind of go down to here and then hang out. They don't really like manage any of the strap beyond that, but this will just keep that strap behind you. So you don't really have to worry about it like flapping around, but it, um, it is something that it's just gonna kind of, just gonna kind of hang out. Um, so if extra straps bug you, you can kind of like loop it in that way. But one last thing here is with the load lifting straps, when you are done with them, there are, or when you have adjusted them to your fit, there are two little straps here to manage that extra slack. They are really more so, like you can tell, I mean, that's, that's the most, almost the most you can adjust it and they really just sort of catch on the inside there. So if you don't have them as adjusted, these are gonna fly around a little bit. Another kind of small potatoes nitpick type thing, but um, to have this option to stow them away when you do adjust it all the way to your body is a nice touch as well. So with all of that in mind, let's get into the inside of the pack. So getting into the pockets and what actually goes inside of them and kind of how they are designed, this front pocket here is um, just this lower half. You can see it doesn't go up to the upper half, um, same as this one. You can kind of just use this as a visual reference. Um, this is the, the previous air travel pack, too small. And with this pocket here, there is a key strap, which is great. It's nice and long. It has a nice secure key clip to it. Um, this is just where I, you know, attach everything. I like that it's just sort of hanging out in here and I can just use it or not use it. It's really low profile, not in the way. Nice, smooth, um, smooth material as well. And then additionally in here, I have my phone. So this is just for me, like for day to day use, this would be just more of like a dump pocket if I didn't have anything in here. But this is also a really great spot to store like a packable jacket or something that is a little bit on the bulkier side, but you want access to it really quickly. If you know you're cold on the plane or you want to use it as a pillow or something like that, then this is a really great spot for that because you do have all of this space down here. It goes to, you know, all the way down to this bottom. So you have a lot of room to work with. So that uh, pocket there is fairly basic. And then on this side here, we have an external pocket. I just have quick grab items in here. Um, I have just a pair of sunglass, sunglasses, excuse me, and a uh, packable dry bag. Again, that sort of thing where it's like small stuff you just want to get to really quickly. There's a fair amount of space in here. Um, you know, we're able to fit a, uh, like a packable backpack in here. If it's small enough, one from, you know, Matador or something like that is really great fit in there. And then on the other side, as we had talked about, is that water bottle pocket. So getting into this first compartment here, um, one thing to note is that the kind of look of it here. So we have the zippers where they meet on the zipper track. This first pocket comes down to about 
here, right? So it's like almost at the bottom. And then the main compartment is a full clamshell. But where I kind of start to got, get a little bit, I won't, I'm not going to say confused, but a little bit um, like a little bit irritated, I guess you could say, is when I would just like happen to leave all of the zipper pulls in the same spot. And so I would be going to, you know, grab one of them to open up this main compartment and I would accidentally grab this one and then I'd be halfway through opening the com compartment before I even realized that I was opening the wrong one. And I think part of that is because these pockets are so close together is that you do sort of get that interaction. However, it's a trade-off, right? So if there were more space here, like the previous iteration of the Travel Pack 2, then you lose a little bit of this bucket space. So I can kind of show you what that looks like on the inside. Um, on the Travel Pack 2 Small, it is that same sort of design. So if you're familiar with this, then that's not gonna be you know, too much of a, a learning curve for you, but just something to keep in mind as you are opening and shutting the bag is to maybe like put the main compartment on one side and then the the smaller compartment or the uh, front compartment here on the other side so then you kind of always know where one is. So this main compartment here, I'm actually gonna take my phone out so I can bend it a little bit better for you. Zip that shut. This front compartment here is a nice and open space with plenty of pockets to put pretty much anything that you have. So in here I have a keyboard sleeve which just fits nicely in this bottom pocket here and then my mouse is up in this top pocket but you can also store you know a wallet in here or you can stick your wallet here. You know there's some other pockets there's there's a top pocket here that I can I'll get into in a little bit but you know, you kind of have a lot of room to wiggle your gear around for storage how you want. And with the Travel Pack 2 Small, you have a very similar organizational layout. But the one thing that I will note with this is kind of um, this, this upgrade, I guess you could say, in a liner. So this one here is a little bit, it's a different shade of gray, first and foremost, very obvious, um, but it's a little bit, feels a little bit like looser almost, and it's like kind of crinkly. And this one is crinkly, but like in a different way, it's like a softer crinkle, um, which is kind of interesting. And then the mesh is different as well. So this mesh here is sort of like a tighter gray mesh and then we have that, you know, that more familiar, like stretchy black mesh that we're starting to see on a lot of Air's other products, in addition to lockable zipper versus just a regular zipper. But otherwise, these uh, compartments are essentially the same. So I'm going to kind of put that off to the side, zip it back up, and we'll reference that again when we get back into the main compartment. But with this, uh, this compartment here, you have, you know, like a, a pen silo. This one here is great for this mesh pocket, I have like chapstick, small items that, you know, would get lost in either of these main larger compartments, but have a really great home in there. And then up in this pocket, you know, I have my passport and a notebook. So, you know, that can go down there. If you don't have the keyboard, there really is so much room to shuffle things around. And then with this zippered pocket up here, you have, kind of give you a visual, it goes to this bottom seam here. So if you wanted to stick, you know, say you don't want to keep your passport or your notebook like open and loose, you can stick that in there. Other travel documents fit really nicely in there. It's super secure with this lockable zipper as well. And then this slip pocket goes all the way down to the base of this bottom pocket. So you have a lot of room to work with. Like if you want to put a notebook in here, that's really great. You can kind of use this as like a makeshift tech kit, but if you have your own tech kit, you can pack out these pockets a little bit less and just store that on the inside as well, because you do have, you can kind of see how much of a gap you have. You know, depending on how tightly you pack out this front pocket, you'll have more room here to kind of fill in that gap in that space. Um, and so everything sort of stacks together. It takes a little bit of like Tetrising to get everything organized. But once you do, you know, and you have all your gear, it's, it's really easy to kind of slot everything in as needed. So I'll stick that right back in there, close that up, and we can get into the main compartment. So again, I just lost, so I, I think I'm like 
I have a tendency to always zip to one side of my backpack, like regardless of what it is. So, you know, it's like a little bit of training for me. So like as a practice, ex exercise practice, let's get this over on this, uh, over on this side. And so, you know, I have the zipper pulls here and then I have the ones down here and then they, you know, don't interact for the most part until I need to reclose it again. So I've got this main compartment opens. And then the one thing I will note is that when this compartment is shut, regardless, you're going to have to pass it on the track at some point. So you can see like I pass it and it goes over the zipper pulls and it's just kind of like a little bit clunky just because they are so dangly, super grippable, but dangly. And then we have this main compartment here. So essentially this is just a giant bucket with like a little bit of pizzazz in it. So. I'm going to take out this packing cube. I'm um, just going to kind of toss that on the ground. This packing cube and then the um, air travel kit too, which is really great. So that fits nice and easy in there with some other packing cubes. Toss that down as well. And then you've got this sort of giant bucket to work with. So on the one side, we have a zippered pocket which is just a nice little liner pocket. You can fit a fair amount in here because you can see there's like a good amount of stretch to it. Um, but you know, if you add something in here, then it's gonna interact with this pocket on the outside. So definitely keep that in mind. This is great for like small, really squishy items. Like if you have a travel towel or something like that, it fits really nicely in there. And then on the other side, oh, we don't have anything on the other side. On the other side is the the outside pocket, which you can load up a little bit more and it doesn't really interact too much. You can kind of see like the outline of something I have in there. But in the scheme of things, you know, you still have so much space to work with on the inside of this sort of bucket. And then this is a pocket. You can go over that pocket really quick, actually. So we have the YKK zipper up top and then it's like a nice soft lined pocket. This is great, you know, if you wanted to put your phone in here for quick grab then it's you know a little bit more scratch proof or like your passport or something you wanted to keep safer this is that lockable zipper for that and then this is the size of the the pocket itself and then if you look under here you have a spot for an air tag so it's a dedicated place if you want to track your bag and you want to add your little air tag tracker in there um, super hidden really easy to forget about that it's there Kind of the point of an air tag right is that it stays in your bag so that you can track it um, but it's a really nice spot for it i think it was really clever to just kind of stick it in there right underneath this little pocket flap there and then on the other side we have this mesh zippered pocket which just sort of acts as like a catch-all pocket similar to um, you know the ones on the the outer compartment this is really great if you have like toiletries or things you want to use to freshen up immediately after being on a plane. You can stick them in there and then just like open up your backpack a little bit on the top and kind of slip your hand in and like grab a toothbrush or grab, you know, whatever you want to grab to make yourself feel a little bit more like refreshed after a long flight. And then there is nothing on this bottom bit here. So I'll show you in comparison to the uh, main compartment of the Travel Pack 2 Small, but they, they do have a little bit of a difference. And the main difference is that you know, there's one, one uh, pocket here and then a hidden pocket that goes the entire length of this panel. You can see it, you know, it goes from top to bottom. And here is mostly where I stored like really small flat things that I didn't know where to put them. So I have a, um, like a clutch that comes with a separate um, carry handle and like a strap. And if I'm wearing it, I obviously don't want to carry either the strap or the carry handle within it. So I need to put it somewhere, right? And it's like, where do you put it? Do you put it in a packing cube? Do you put it in this little mesh thing? Like, where does it go? And so for me, I just stuck it in here. And it's like out of sight, out of mind. Um, it didn't really interact with anything that was in this main compartment. Doesn't take up a ton of space from this front zippered compartment either, just because everything that I put in here was kind of on the flatter side. But if you wanted to, you do have some depth you can see, you know, there's a fair amount of space if you wanted to add bulkier items in here. Um, for me, I found that the, the flatter items worked best. And then it stays so out of sight. You can see it's like these gusseted edges that give it that, that depth. 
but it, otherwise it stays so out of sight it's like you don't even you just need to remember that it's there when you need to get to the thing that's inside also a great spot for like a first aid kit if you want to get like a really tiny um like a few band-aids and things like that you can just stick it in here there when you need it out of sight when you don't so to just kind of give a overview here of the differences we'll get them side by side so same kind of deal with the liner and the mesh the mesh here is like a stiffer like a stiffer black mesh you can see it has like a lot of structure to it and it doesn't really have any stretch so comparatively the mesh on this here has a lot of give to it you, I mean you can see my finger is just kind of like slowly pushing through and so you do have a little bit more room to pack that out with something that's like a little bit like weird size like a like a dop kit or something like that and then there is this pocket here that's just a general you know slip pocket but there is no I mean there's no secret pocket or anything like that so essentially that secret pocket takes the place of this pocket here and so you have almost more storage because this is the full length of this panel but in general you have um you have like the same amount of pocket space i guess you could say and then on the inside here there's no side pockets or anything like that there is the shoe compartment um i'm not gonna kind of fuss with it to show you but it the shoe compartment actually comes out to like here which is fairly large and then that same top pocket this is where that's stored um and there's no like air tag storage underneath or anything like that so they have the same kind of sh basic shell but just a few adjustments here and there so um kind of just closing these back up i would say the main difference between them is that addition of those load lifters it uh in addition to changing the you know the way that it fits on you it also kind of changes the shape you can see that this is so squared off whereas let me zip this up actually so it's a little bit easier to see again got kind of caught with the zipper poles there you can see that this sort of rounds out at the top and this is that this is that structured back panel they they both kind of have that but this like almost like triangular shape is what brings the bag a little bit closer to your body and makes for that more comfortable fit which is um which is a really great add if you're going to be using this as your primary travel pack whether you're one bag traveling or if you just you know want to have something a little bit smaller for a larger range of trips you can kind of adjust the fit and the feel based off of how much you have packed inside so the last thing to talk about on this bag here is this back zippered compartment which is the laptop sleeve so can open that up same kind of zipper pulls you see around the rest of the bag um, it's also worth noting that all of these zippers I can show you a better example these are all lockable so if you wanted to add your own lock there then um, that's something that you're able to do on anywhere you know this front compartment with these two meet the main compartment where those meet and then up top here on the laptop compartment as well so opening this up here you can see on the inside it's just sort of a open compartment Kind of like we just talked about with this back panel curving a little bit you do have a little bit of a lip here and it curves backward but it is just this main laptop compartment it fits up to a 16 inch laptop i have a 13 inch macbook in here so you can see there's you know plenty of room to spare if you have something that's even larger you can just stick it in this main area this back sleeve does have a false bottom it's kind of hard to see all the way down there so i wouldn't stick any like really small gear in here just because it could get lost but the false bottom you know is at the very bottom there and then a little bit of cushion on the sides the sleeve itself has some cushion and then the back here is like a soft kind of like felty material that very very much so you know the same as this pocket here and then there's another additional pocket in here it's a little like slip pocket very easy to miss i often forget that it's even here but this is nice because you can stick little like either tech accessories in here or like i have a hat in here that's just super flat and packable and you do have a decent amount of space i can kind of show you what it looks like empty like that bottom here is where this seam is so you do have a decent amount of space here and then when it is you know time to zip it back up the zipper pull is nice and small and um you know it just kind of hides away very nicely there so 
this zips right back up and then you are good to go. So um, overall, you know, it's just kind of got that very sleek feel to it, pretty similar to the previous iteration, but you do have a few differences uh, to note here and there. So there you have it, the Air Travel Pack 3 Small. Thanks for keeping it here at Pack Hacker, your guide to smarter travel, and we'll see you in the next one.